I am the Reverend Mike Orgo, and uh, the other day I was texting the word cunt, and it auto-corrected to the name Cynthia. <laughs> now I don't know Cynthia, but apparently Cynthia, she's a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> bang, bang. Yeah, my joke guns. Um, hey guys, what do you call kidney stones that come from gay penises? Fruity pebbles, bang, bang. Yeah. Why? Why did Adolf Hitler love the blind man so much? Because he could not see. Bang, bang. Yeah, no, think about it. Think, yeah, it's, it takes a minute on that one. Hey, um, how many crackheads? How many crackheads does it take to change a light bulb? It, it doesn't fucking matter. They're crackheads. Light bulbs, electricity, they don't care. They just want to do crack. Bang, bang. Yeah. That's the end of it. That's it. Speaking of crackheads, though, as I often do, I was thinking recently, I think perhaps the, uh, the biggest crackhead I can think of is uh, Gollum from the Lord of the Rings movies, right? That guy is seriously cracked out. I mean, I think he's getting ready to do some shit for that ring. And Gollum, Gollum, give us the precious. We want this it. We'll suck your dick for the precious. Yes, we suck it so good. We let you come in our mouth and stick it in our asshole. Ah. <laughs> oh, people follow that. <laughs> yeah, so I went to Catholic school. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it explains a lot. And uh, one time we had the, uh, the headmaster of students, Father O'Shaughnessy, came in and gave us all a nice little talk on some of the evils of modern day music. Now, uh, Father O'Shaughnessy was one of those priests that had been in America for like 40 years, but sounded like he got in from the boat out of Ireland just like yesterday. And uh, he's telling us about modern day music. This was like 1992, okay? So big bands at the time, we were into Nirvana. Uh, Soundgarden, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, okay? And he starts talking about some bands and some music that was really big, really popular in like 1978. So we kind of missed the mark, but it was pretty hilarious. Kids, I want to talk to you today about some of the modern music you might be listening to. Some of the rock and roll music. And kids, there's nothing wrong with rock and roll music. Hi, myself. I'm a tremendous fan of the Kingston Trio and Joan Baez. <laughs> but there's a new kind of music. It's new on the scene, so I'm told. And it's called heavy metal music, kids. And you should watch out for this heavy metal music. Because it's, it's Satan's lunchbox, kids. It's the devil's crowbar is what it is. <laughs> I want to warn you about a couple bands in particular you should look out for. This first one. They wear makeup on their faces like they're possible homosexuals. They spit fire from their mouth and their tongue wiggles like they're the serpent himself and they're called KISS. And KISS, KISS stands for Knights in Satan's Service. It does, kids. Let me tell you. You don't want to rock and roll all night and party every day. It's exhausting. Another band you should look out for. They're from the godless country of New Zealand. They're a bunch of hot and tots, and they're called ACDC. <laughs> Kids, you don't want to get involved with the ACDC. I'll tell you, they're brand new on the scene. I hear their lead singer died 10 years ago today, but they're brand new. And ACDC, kids, it stands for Antichrist Devil Child. This is what it stands for. Kids, if you get involved with the ACDC, you'll be getting involved in some dirty deeds done dirt cheap. I can tell you that, kids, you'll be on the highway to hell if you listen to ACDC, and I think you'll find it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. And kids, no matter what ACDC says, 
Jesus Christ has the biggest balls of them all. Hi, I'm the Reverend Mike Orgo. Thank you very much. Keep on rocking.